Pick up your gear and open your chest. Throw on your armor and head out on a quest. Hey, hey. It's a brand new day. Hey. Hi. Hi. Welcome everyone. back. Episode two, season 15. We're here. Yeah. We're so excited to be with you all. Uh, I'm here with everyone, finally back home. There's no tech issues to stop us from streaming. Don't, uh, don't and so we're, I, I knocked the metal with you. Knocking. You heard the knocking. I, <sighs> we're good. We're good. I'm respecting what's at play okay i'm i'm understanding what's at play but hey uh, we're the rivals we're back let's go around and do some intros we're going to start uh going counterclockwise with latia and then finish with sharif oh well, i guess finish with me but yeah oh yeah i guess it is. i'm looking at, i'm looking at us and i'm like wait a minute is that counterclockwise yes it is. Yeah. hi uh i'm latia jaquise i play everybody's favorite air coker monk uh murder bird to be confirmed uh dahani whose pronouns are she, her, along with mine, who are also she, her. Just a bunch of she, hers in this house. Mm -hmm. Up next, Tanya. Oh, hi, and me. Uh, I'm Tanya Cypher-Tier. I play Sleeps Astorio, your, rain, your paladin ranger with a skosh of barbarian. Uh, both Sleeps' pronouns and mine are she, her. Skosh is also a valid unit of measurement. Absolutely. It is a rival's canon. Uh, following that, we've got Brian. Hi, uh, I am Brian. I play Virgil, your Asamar sorcerer. Virgil's pronouns are he, him. My pronouns are he, they. Perfect. And then Kent. Hello, uh, I'm Mokenyo. I'm DM Jesians, and I play Kent, our uh, phantom rogue tiefling, and both of our pronouns are he, him. You know what happened so fast? I said, Kent, you I, went into you it. Know, and, and I so, did. Oh, I, I didn't just really let it happen. happen. We're gonna just, let you I happen. will tell you, though, that my brain super short-circuited when I started to say my name then. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> what is my name? Well, for a moment, I looked at the overlay, and I forgot that it goes our character names first. And I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a move along. <laughs> Up next, we got Sharif. <laughs> what is my name? <laughs> it's exactly uh, you. Don't know anymore. Yeah, uh, I'm Sharif. I play Shaka, Tiefling, Celestial Warlock. I'm he in. Shock is he, he, him as well. And uh, I guess welcome myself to the season. Oh, yeah. We're excited to have you. And don't worry, we're going to jump in with you first when we get into stuff. Oh. But we'll we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, 
Hey, I'm Masood. I'm the GM of the season. My pronouns are he, him, but I usually play Gazric Nomrad. His pronouns are also he, him, everyone's favorite socialist, businessman, druid, uh, construct. Uh, we all love him. We all cherish him, and he slightly annoys us. But I also will be playing all the NPCs throughout this season, so uh, or at least this half of the season, uh, for these six episodes. And so during that, my uh, pronouns will vary as the NPCs uh, folks encounter uh, change. Um, some things to note just for you all, I am overcoming a little bit of illness. I'm perfectly good. I'm on the better end of it. Um, but I might be blowing my nose a little bit, drinking some water, taking a cough drop, uh, just so you're aware of if there's a little slight difference in that. Uh, and also if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. You're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. And moving on to the, <laughs> we want to say thank you to the folks that make us possible. Uh, Sharif, do you want to kick us off with those ad reads? I'm going to do an ad read. And if you don't like it, you know, you have to deal with it. <laughs> Um, so, um, we use D and D beyond for our digital character sheets, um, and accessing encounters, accessing books, uh, rolling dice, um, looking up monsters, all kind of great stuff there. Uh, make sure to check them out. Excuse me at D and D beyond.com. Um, and, uh, if you are, are we doing a bundle today or no, I have to remember if we are, we are not. So. If you're listening live, thank you for listening live. We will give you a imaginary bundle of friendship. Um, you know, uh, if, if you, you know what I'm saying, beam straight into your mind. Oh. You know, so, so 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 there's no shipping costs or anything. So yeah, it's all good. Um, we, we, yes, we don't, we don't have the budget for that, Sharif. <laughs> They're worth oh, it. Oh, oh, They're no, worth I'm, it. I'm, I'm I'm a covering it. I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I'm covering it. Don't worry. Don't worry. So generous. So generous. Um, yeah. So um. Yeah. If 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 you uh, want to uh, play a game and like have your stuff online, make sure to check out D and D Beyond. Um. Also, if you want to roll some actual dice, uh, Die Hard Dice. Um, we're proud to be sponsored by them. Check them out at dieharddice.com. Um. Use the code Rivals for ten percent off. Um. As as Daniel shows off his dice, and Masood also shows off his the dice. last uh, second. I remember it's, right it's it's a dice off. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> um, and uh, if you want uh, just some geeky gear and uh, different material to spread around your place, make sure to check out Stormcrow at shop.stormcrow.com. They have hats and mugs and masks and shirts and posters, all kind of cool stuff to, to, just to adorn your place and make it more awesome. If you use the code RIVALS there, you get 15% off of, of your purchase. So make sure to check that out. Um, if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, check out Blue Microphones, crew.bluemic.com slash rivals. Um, if you click on that and make any purchases, we do get credit. And yeah, all of us have those mics and those are cameras. So, you know, if you're wondering why we look and sound dope, uh, that you, you can thank them for that as well. Um, and we are also partnered with Idol Champions by Codename Entertainment. The entire Rivals crew um, are selectable characters in the game. So uh, make sure to build up your team with us. There's all kind of Rivals bonuses if you uh, pair us all, all together. Um, and don't forget, Shock is going to mess up your formation. So you might as well not plan it anyway because he's going to make <laughs> you everything that you, that you play. But the bonuses are worth it, I swear. I they swear. are. They are, they they are, they, they, they are worth it. Um, yeah, and 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 also, d d don't forget to like I get uh, all the uh, figures from Black Dice Society as well. Kind of like our, you know, one of, one of the shows that we ride with and and that uh, Tanya is like a part of. Um, and the uh, familiars like Disco Pess and Fen as well. Um, so like make sure to check out all that stuff there. Um uh at uh idol champions which is literally on everything every console phones on the computer all that kind of stuff so make sure to check out that game and and, and it's free so uh make sure to check that out um we're also partnered by voice mod um and i don't know if we have a special guest to help us with our ad read hear ye hear ye now it's my turn to say i'm making a voice mod announcement and if you don't like it you could probably not pay attention to the list of it, because it's all about voice mod. Listen up, everybody. Go to voicemod.net, and you, too, can sound like you're screaming through an old bullhorn that hasn't really been technology updated in about 25 years. 
and you can yell at your friends too. Go to voicebot.net and use code RIVALS to get 5% off of the pro license or get the free version. And this is probably included in that too. I should prepare these speeches. Voicemod.net. <laughs> no, never prepare. Oh, the pretty off. incredible. Pretty <laughs> authentic <laughs> bullhorn, though. That was, that was... I was ready for you to start giving me a, a bidding announcement, and we got this plot of land going for that, 100, 100, 100. That or telling me to, like, telling us to start doing, like, push ups in formation or something. Like, what the heck? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I, I had a, uh, my middle school principal would, uh, yell at us with a bullhorn. Oh, God. So, so that, that just brought me back to, uh, mm -hmm. And uh, trying trying to break up fights by speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was very fun. <laughs> very fun. Rice check on prune juice, Bob. Uh, Rice oh my prune god! Five. Bring a bucket. Bring a bucket. Oh my god! We have to have an NPC that screws the board. You know, if, you, you know, you. it's still early enough. Make Let's... it happen. Yeah, Make because the alternative is giving Ken to Bullhorn and don't nobody want that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. no. We can give Ken a Bullhorn. It might just no. uh, cost him all his charisma to use it. But to, <laughs> yeah. See, if he so get a been... negative 19 modifier on charisma <laughs> when he use it. No, Solis would kill him. <laughs> As a result of the negative 19 modifier. Yeah, we'll make it, Dan. We'll make yeah, it we're, work. we're saying the same thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, but speaking of the rivals and what they've been up to, I think we got to throw it to our whoosh captain to get us uh, going in that capacity. We do, and it's my turn to say that I'm going to do a whoosh. And <laughs> if you don't like it, then don't get your whooshing apparatus <laughs> yes. ready. You are very aggressive today. Like, <laughs> yeah, if you don't like it. <laughs> You know, like it well. Here it is, anyway. Right, Do all I mean, of you need snack or water or something? I no, have it's water. just the unhinged energy. We're on the way out. Blood sugar is low. Yeah, it's oh, been wow. two weeks, so yeah, I mean, that you can expect this kind of energy maybe later in the season. Who knows? <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, whooshing. Um, my whoosh co-captain is currently in my room asleep. Oh. Uh, you oh. can check my Twitter. If, to see how he's doing um but yeah everybody we're gonna yeah it's happening all right previously on rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. wow uh, there they go yeah. Yeah. yeah look at the chat it's there beautiful. they go yeah. oh, I, love to get us off. I love that i love so, that previously on rivals of Waterdeep. We started off Whoosh. in a board meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoosh. Yes, it was a board. It was a boring meeting. You're right. It was a board, board, boring meeting. <laughs> a Absolutely. board, boring board meeting. The Shaka had the right idea to skip this meeting, and we'll catch up with him and what. <laughs> I knew that. I, I somehow, I somehow knew and flooded my entire building to escape. It was like ah, we gotta get deal with some municipal code work. You know, how it is. <laughs> that was so much better that way. Right. Mm -hmm. It, it, it was just at the pipes. They yeah. talked about the building joke building also a little bit in the we meeting. We did. So, so it, was a fair, it was a good meeting for you not to be at. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you had this meeting. Um, what sort of went down in it? There business? are. Yeah. Lots of business. There were very businessy business things, and they discussed business. So the. Oh, shoot. See, there was like a, there what was is like, it called? There was like a ward to the north, the field ward. The field ward, thank you. Oh, good right call. Island to the southeast, sorry, southwest that's like having Smuggler's some Smuggler's Nightmare or something like that. Like the Lone Gate, yep. the City that's of the, the Dead's being looted. The yeah. dead, um, yeah. I, 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 the, like, the, the long and short is like, I don't know why the masks are even necessary in the mask lord <laughs> meetings because everyone yeah. seems to know who everyone is and everyone just dumps all their problems on us. Now I want to I want to just clarify a little bit because it's not that everyone knows who everyone is because I don't think I know who any of the rest of them are. They just all know who we are. <laughs> that part. <laughs> yeah. That's well. Then they were they all yeah, sit at the same table. They had like the rich people yeah. arguing with each other too. Like they. Oh, like, that's like, true. That's true. It's pretty much. Are we the only ones who didn't get the memo that that everyone just knows? Like. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think there's something to be said, though, because uh, I was thinking about it a little bit. I was wondering for the history after Lara put you all in charge, I think there's probably a big impetus for like, hey, we're going to spearhead these missions and get a lot of things done. And mm -hmm. I think in that group setting, 
people put two and two together. We're like, oh, they someone asked the rivals to do the open lore asked the rivals to move, and suddenly there's so much more. Like they're all showing up to meetings. They're all doing like it's a lot more full. So with that, I think the uh, folks have now been putting you in positions to benefit themselves under the and the city, but also for themselves. Uh, <laughs> and you guys we, mentioned uh, some the key, the three major points. Uh, the yeah, field yeah. ward has been under a lot of duress because there's been some fighting happening. It's not patrolled by the city guard. It's only looked at um, by the, uh, sorry, it's not patrolled by the city watch. It's only looked at by the city guard. And that's only for making sure that the entrances and egresses are good. But something has gone down at the troll gate leading it to be blocked off. That's and where it because was. of that, all the goods now that come into the city from the north side have to go all the way through the field ward and Ooh. things keep going missing. Things are picked off by the time yeah. it finally gets into the city. Um, Damn, the city supply chains, man. Supply chains. Well, right? maybe we should fund social programs in the field war. Anyway, we're, we're not, not doing this yeah, again. They we're not receptive <laughs> to actual improvement. Plans. It is so, not because yeah. I um, think it, no, really, it, you guys are a strong force, but you're not the majority. No, not the mass lords. That so, like, was very clear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the issue with the city of the dead that they were talking about someone's been looting it like you said um yeah. and also similar bureaucratic issue uh the city guard here is actually just there um to make sure that the undead don't get out that's like their whole contract so actual looting and pilfering not under their purview they're not going to risk their neck against like really like a zombie is an issue but it's not smart enough to carry a poison needle you know <laughs> To be clear, right. Verge, there I'm, aren't just dozens of undead wandering around, I'm I don't like, think. I was like, no. wait a second. Uh, okay. It's, I, you know, it's a big very, graveyard. I was very unclear city. about the city of the dead because I was <laughs> I like, was oh, it's thinking. like, it's their city. So, like, <laughs> no, no, wait, it's, what? I just mean, a couple <laughs> of skeletons on their way to work. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, you got your All papers right. to get through the gate? No. Uh, I mean, if, if you want me to create some zombies to test that theory. <laughs> no. Shaka is more than willing. That's probably right. Right. when no. Shaka like, creates the stray no. zombie. The mayor because, of the city is. of the we dead. Just the 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 mayor. Dead. Yes. Um, yes. The mayor of the city. Oh, my God. The mayor? Hold on. The mayor of the city of the dead has the bullhorn. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. And then. Okay. The important thing about that also was that there was a crest found in the city yes. of the dead. A crest so, that oh, was yeah. unrecognizable. It wasn't, it wasn't a big deal. It I, was. Was. I, 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 I didn't recognize it. I, I, I couldn't describe it. You could, though. What, just why a why scrap of fabric. It's nothing. <laughs> it's just fine. Um, also, we had a reminder from the chat uh, about Virgil and an apprentice. Oh, well, yeah. that was yeah, that was later because well, no, no. what I was going to get to is after we talk about the three areas is then each uh, of us there had our little moment flashbacks absolutely what's right, been going on right. over here well i mean and i think that's a good way to mention the last thing that's sort of going on is down in storms island someone is that's smuggling it. and like handling things there it's been under there hasn't been enough folks to it's fallen into disrepair and people have been using it to their advantage um and you guys have been asked tasked to like sort of figure out what's been going on and while all this bureaucratic information was being downloaded to you all um about the city and these like three um, let's say quests that you're going to have to do, Ooh. um, if you want to, and, <laughs> is, uh, you all drifted off like many players, uh, at their own tables with some of that information oh, no. happens. Well, don't call and us out like not, this. Don't, not wow. you all, and don't the grander your own community, place. myself included, you know, wow. it's, and we understand, uh, but in this moment, you guys have moment, uh, really powerful uh, recollections and remembrances of instances throughout the past year that you've been left with from interacting with Laryl and the development of the new fountain out in front of uh, Trollskull Manor. Um, the, we can go around the horn um, with, uh, or if we want to. Do you guys, anyone want to remind folks of what you all saw? Or, I mean, we did mention uh, yeah. The Apprentice, which is... <clears throat> Yeah, and and similar in the same vein of the apprentice, um, you know, talking about apprenticing and jobs and trying out different kinds of jobs. Kent had a what a Kent, hell of a Kent deflection a that I was going to respectfully take. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I will. We'll come back. Uh, yes, Kent has been trying to find himself and what uh, his future holds by trying out a bunch of different jobs, none of which have gone particularly well. Uh, he tried to be like a guard for hire for merchant caravans and like went. 
too hard. It's a little too hard. Uh, what was the other thing that he tried out? There was one other job. <gasps> what was, was it? I don't remember. I'll think, I'll think of what the other one was, but he's yeah, tried a couple of things. I think you, you were making your way towards something. Like there was a suggestion. Oh, oh, oh. it was yeah. something. Was it something about the city of the de- archaeology? I don't remember. It was oh, some. Did he work in a, a museum? Later. Maybe yeah, I don't remember. I think it was. It was, yeah. Yeah. It was later. I don't remember. I'll look we'll, for it. We'll, we'll cut back to it. Yeah. Uh, and then we also had uh, great moments from. Uh, Solis, where they were hunting down uh, Faye and found a critical notebook with some of their more detailed, uh, mm. like inner thoughts, um, mm. and the crawl. And I think that's where. Is there anything else I'm forgetting about that? No, just revenge, 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 revenge. And you know, maybe the notebook holds a little more details into why Faye behaved that they did. Uh, it might require some deciphering and looking through. But you know, you've had it for a year. We can talk about what it was like to go through that. Um, and then we've got uh, Tahani, who Me. just yeah, what'd you get up to? Uh, I traveled. Mm-hmm. You traveled, and yes. part of that was seeing Walter. I believe. Um, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> it was an it was a necessary conversation right. that Dahani wanted to make as short as possible. Right. Basically questioning why she's here and why he's here and uh what she will be doing henceforth. Mm. Mm-hmm. I like that. And no, Walter does not cannot come with me. It's it was okay. so okay. sweet though. Dahani like inspired Walter. Yeah. Yeah. Who wants to be you? No. Well, I think yeah. Wanted to. She and I think now it's funny. Pat is finding his own thing. Though was <laughs> willing to drop check it is nice. the hat for Tahani. And like the mo was like, oh, you want to leave? We can leave. Yeah. <laughs> no, though. I I don't want to put that kind of pressure on anybody, even sure. if even a fake, even a character I created. It's too real. <laughs> uh, but I think that basically covers uh, all that stuff that happened last week. There was nothing really of, else of note that happened. Um, you just went back to Troll School Manor and then went to bed, right? Wait, no. Well, okay, no, no that's not exactly <laughs> Hang on. what happened. Because I, I joked about the fact that when we got back to Troll School Manor, all the things that like I feel like whether we agreed to them or not, we're already waiting mm-hmm. for us. So all the jobs we agreed to were already waiting for us at Troll Skull. And we got there and things were all right. And uh Duo was and duo there. Duo duoed himself. Duo in duo. uh Yeah, finally, we're two finally or... living up to the names. Finally. Yeah, right. yeah. A duo of duos. A yeah, there's duo a, a ghost duo uh-huh. and, a re- and a regular. Well, I, um, I can call it right. There's a ghost duo and another ghost duo. So it's <laughs> duo one and duo two. Duo one yeah, and duo two. Ghost, ghost yes. duo. Oh, no. Physical duo. Yeah, corporeal duo and eight. incorporeal duo. How there we go. go. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, some really, really good, like some really, really good, like, you know, there's, this was not a one tells the truth and one tells a lie. Like yeah. the, the, you know, the characters had some really good questions for both, both the non-corporeal and the corporeal duo mm-hmm. um and we determined that the corp the corporeal one was perhaps not the real duo and mm-hmm. then got that 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 duo got real slick on the on a on an attempt at evade mm-hmm. <laughs> and then i i didn't i didn't punch him i i don't know why i did that <laughs> i apprehended absolutely haymakered and it's such a the hot ears i didn't punch him I, didn't punch him. <laughs> I know i know i made this motion and got I, that reputation though damn yeah. <laughs> uh, murder burb I mean... he doesn't know what to do with their hands <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> And I will say anyone who anyone who is a Patreon supporter and caught up on our after show got like oh, got, yeah. to, got to hear a really cool from Masood, a really cool concept and insight as to why we had an incorporeal and a corporeal duo. And I thought that was really kind of badass. Mm-hmm. I mean, I keep forgetting that we talked about it in the after show and not in the main show. And right, like, like almost <laughs> mentioning it in inappropriate places. <laughs> <laughs> we can get to it whenever we get to it, but I think that basically brings us up to the present unless there's anything else that we missed 
I'm, and that's not even a, I, I'm not even baiting you. The last one was a bait. This was a real. No, so, I yeah, I think, think, I think we're caught on. That's it's, it. Yeah. It's, it's been two weeks, so, so we have to make sure that we got it right. It's yeah, been... right. Sorry, what? <laughs> ah, thank you. And with that, we uh, pull back <laughs> to you all. Thank you for that <laughs> joke. <laughs> In uh, Troll Skull Manor, standing around, Dahani still got their hands on now the duple instead of the duo, as uh, Tempo Andante put out there, uh, is wrangling around, has sort of switched to their doppel form. Uh, what uh, happens as we circle around? And primarily, Sharif, where has Shaka been? When you walk in to the manor and see this, what have you been up to? Okay, so one uh, question before this. Was yeah. Shaka at that meeting? At the yeah. well, you tell me. I, I I will leave it up to you. If you wanted to not okay. be there, you could have not been there. Um, if you want to just like say that you were there and then did your own thing on your way back, we could cover that. I'll say Shock has been there, but he wasn't in that like group. He sure. wasn't in that uh, the rivals group. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because he still has these dreams of uh, you know, thinking he's uh, you know performing espionage uh so he's trying to like <laughs> mingle no. so he's trying to like mingle in different areas of the i like I how, I how big is this room would you say like i would say it, is, so it's a like room a hall there, is it, like I, a, it is it is a large like a lecture room kind i of? would say more of a me a boardroom in some ways okay. because it, okay. it holds a, a table circular more of a hoop shape there's no inside uh with 20 seats around the side where okay. folks can look across at one another. Even so it's better. Like a ring table. Even better, because that would be even more awkward when he just right. sits near someone that doesn't. <laughs> so, you don't know, right. for sure. Because like you're used to the people. Uh, in between two people. Yeah. Says, hey, what's up? Um, love it. Okay. No, but um, I like this because there's a there's clearly a block that of power, and it has to shift. And Shaka's like, I'm going to go undercover. I'm already undercover. I'm going to go yeah, I'm under undercover. undercover. <laughs> exactly. <I'm deeper>. Exactly. <laughs> deep cover. It's deep yeah, yeah, yeah. cover. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, is Shaka an undercover brother? <laughs> <laughs> He's the under undercover brother. brother. Oh, boy. Um, the well, sequel. Oh, yeah. The sequel. Uh, yeah. 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 Maybe. maybe. Maybe Chris Catan's in this. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> You guys want some cookies? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I'll so so like uh okay. So I I was at the meeting. Great. So yeah. like, are you asking what has Shaka been doing, or or like what's his response to? Wait, so, sorry, can like you? No, no, no. I appreciate it. My sure. question was vague. Uh, I think it was. I initially didn't know if you were at the meeting or not. So that's yes. answers that. Right I was like, meeting. what were you yes. doing to now arrive oh, a okay. little bit after the rest of them? And so with that, it might have been if you went off and did something on your own after the meeting, because I think yeah. it might enlighten on what you've been up to in the past year. Because oh, okay. you know, so, what, what has so been up to in the past year? I, I was at the meeting. I yeah. take my own way home, though. Okay. Um, I would say, uh, you know, in the last, um, I, I think everybody else did a year or so, correct? Yeah, like just a, a little a, a little um, moment from the year that, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, there has been uh i imagine a uh big gaping hole where the uh building joke building uh once stood sure. and transformed and was mm -hmm. uh, destroyed um he has i don't want to say trying to rebuild it but he's definitely been like trying to like make that air like help help with whatever efforts of cleaning up that area right so whether it's like you know, um, just making it nicer or mm -hmm. like maybe they don't want any other buildings there since it was like kind of close to the, uh, you know, to the uh, fortress walls. Mm -hmm. um, so he has been going there um, a lot, kind of like on his own. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what I would say would be the, 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 the majority of it is splitting between that mm -hmm. and seeing if he can sort of um, remember in the past season or two he was on the lookout for other people that might have been um you know um tricked by the xanathar right? yeah so still kind of like putting that call out for like other warlocks who might have had this false patron so um, i think that's a great sort of moment to think about and with that um you're walking up to now what has become this like community park in the area the building has been 
removed it's leveled down and there's fixtures that are available for folks to come in and explore particularly like a little fountain there's a nice like actual sand pit area avoid of ant lions so it's actually safe for folks and uh little ones to uh, play in uh some swings on the side it's it's a nice little you know community park and you think back wow. on what it used to be the wreckage and rubble and the aftermath of the building joke building um, and you look over and you see uh, one of the people that helped build it, one of the Zanlocks that you had sort of um, rehabilitated after mm -hmm. their time. And we go back to that first day. You're there, you arrive, you see the wreckage, and uh, one of the local denizens in the area is just starts running up to you. He's like, no, 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 no. We got this. We got this. You have done enough for us. We're fine. No, thank you. Well, you don't even know what I'm here for, though. Oh, uh, what are you here for, then? To make things worse? <laughs> Everybody's face very funny. Um, I would like to roll a... Just a general, I guess, charisma. Just a... I'm I'm trying to lighten the situation. Absolutely, please. All right. So let me just roll just a straight up, a straight charisma. See mm -hmm. what we got here. You could persuade him. You could try to uh, just charm him in some capacity. Okay, eighteen. An um, eighteen. Eighteen. So like, I just want to say like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Um, we're all we like we're all friends here, you know. Like we're we're all here for the betterment of a water deep. I just wanted to observe what was going on, and then if you would allow me to assist. Oh, are you gonna you're gonna let us lead then? And yeah, just of follow. Course. Well, I mean, to an extent, yes. Okay, I mean, I, okay. Um, I mean, if you told me to jump off of a bridge, I'm not gonna jump off of it. You know? Sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of great ideas. I got a lot of great ideas of what to do here. Everyone's asking, "Hey, Nagru, what are you gonna do with this place?" I was like, "Hey, I got these ideas. I got them." Um, okay, Nagru, good, good. Yeah, no, yeah. I. Uh, well, uh, what's what, what's your best idea? Oh. Let's not start with the best. I mean, let's let's not start at best because that would be a, sh a shameful place to start. Because then, then oh, if okay. you have any Every, ideas, like what like what are, what are one of your ideas for the place? Um, I think I have an idea to maybe. Uh, I still think that this should serve as some kind of social hub. Uh huh. Um, so maybe it can. I mean, I mean, there's taverns everywhere. That's kind of boring, right? Yeah. But, Maybe it can just be like some sort of um maybe like a uh a place where you can maybe like like a range where you can like kind of in a safe environment you can just toss different weapons at say a target. So maybe like oh. like uh like uh you, you you can take say like an axe, right? Set up some like just... training dummies, some practice yeah. dummies, get them with some self repair mending uh artificing uh elements so people could just go like wail on them in public if they wanted to yeah just like okay. get their aggression out yeah um i had know. that idea actually i now that you, you mentioned it that was one of my ideas so this is why I didn't, i'm glad i didn't lead with it you know like this would have been this is good because you would have felt super embarrassed Oh no! I'm sure you know if that happens that we both take credit for it. So that's oh yeah, 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 yeah! Absolutely, yeah. we'll both take credit for that one. Yeah. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, um, yeah. Any, any. No, no I, I shared one. Um, yeah. I think you could share one as well. That'd be cool. Not you know your what? best one, though. Not, no, not, your not best my one. best one. Okay, no. I was thinking about this. It's not a good one. It's not, it's not the best one. But what if we? Um, it's a lot of uh, there's a lot of younglings running around. You know, there's a lot of young young folks in the area, and they get up to stuff when they don't have things to do. You know, um, and um, there's a there's an ilk in the community that might want to further their employing capacity at an early age. Some of the work isn't the best. Um, 
or the most respectable, I'll say. So uh, perhaps give them some time. What if we build a slide? You know, I just in like a merry-go-round, just a place where the kids can hang out. That's that's it. Okay, I thought you were talking about employing kids. I, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm trying to get them out of gangs. I don't want them to, like, you know, if, if they want to, I'm sure that they, they, some of them do good okay. work, but. I'm, I might have some slide ideas for you. Okay, okay, okay. But nothing yeah. nothing over two stories. We got to keep it reasonable, all right? Or, or we got to put some sort of magic enforcement in place. Nothing uh, over two stories. So like one and a half stories is fine. Oh, totally, totally. Okay, agree. okay, cool. For sure. So a couple, couple of loops, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll couple put some guardrails on it. We'll put a, an enclosure. You know, I got some friends at the Temple of Gon that we can get on board. Do you have any uh, folks who might... Uh, be good with some of the magic to help us create some safety measures in here. Well, sure. Yeah. 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 No, no. We, we, we know people. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, this is good. I actually think we work pretty well together. Yeah. 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 You listen to my ideas pretty well. And, uh, mm -hmm. it seems like I have a lot of yours already. So that feels pretty, pretty strong dynamic. Okay, great. So, um, how long do you think it'll take to, uh, get this up and running on here i don't know well first uh as you guys start talking about the next steps immediately you like go mm -hmm. back and forth we pull back to the current moment and you see nagru sitting on uh the bench sort of laid back relaxed his hair slicked from where at the time that has now passed and he's enjoying his uh coffee and his uh he's an elf in a nice white tunic uh he's sitting with some uh black pants uh, that he's laying out with his shoes and he looks at you with his coffee waves takes a sip um do you stay at the this uh plot that you've developed in, in a while or do you just uh you head straight back so did i actually help develop it yeah yeah, yeah yeah and we'll cut back okay. to like those moments throughout of cool. what it was like but okay. I, yeah just to see no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go over to him i'm, I'm yeah I'm, I'm gonna say hey hey yeah, what's up, Jack? how's it going it's good, man. It's good. Uh, I was in between some contracts and uh, wanted to take a take a gander at some of the work. Yeah, yeah. I th I th I think this is great. Um, do, do you do you do you mind if I sit here next to you? No, not at all. Okay. So so uh, so Shaka takes the load off. Mm -hmm. Um, and like says, you know, I think this really helps the city to not only look better, but like feel safer yeah um i think we should try this at maybe some other spots around around the city that might have fallen into disrepair or that might have been like you know maybe they used to be parks and stuff but they got turned into other things mm -hmm. or just yeah I, th I think this might be something that we could probably maybe pitch to some of the other wards or like some of the other areas hey man I, like i said i'm in between contracts right now that that'd be great i could definitely use some more work uh you know i was going to approach nimrods to see if i can get a nice licensing agreement with them on some of their new developments I thought you'd put in a good word for me but this is great as well uh, i mean i can but you are you aware that uh Gazric's not not there right now oh so you don't have as much pull with him not there it's no worries I it's understand. not about pull yeah, it's yeah, about yeah. um you don't know the other people like that i mean i know them okay. it's just you know you, you actually 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 you know i i might be speaking uh out of a turn we we should bring it to uh them yeah. um uh, i don't know if you met them do duo and brian oh no no, no. i've met i met duo before you know i stopped by the manor once or twice uh, brian occasionally okay yeah yeah maybe maybe we can reveal with them and j just see what they have to say okay cool well i mean you go talk to them i'll, I'll come by we'll make a meeting about it uh, i think that's a great idea we could probably do a lot of good work for the city all right you get your guy the same guys though because uh the the warlocks that you brought on board or the the rehabbed warlocks whatever you i forgot the word that you used for them they're great well, i mean they're yeah that's a little derogatory i think uh, well i mean i mean i, I, I got nothing warlocks, against warlocks but... uh I, my brother's just warlocks they're just warlocks okay that's all cool. be rehabbed 
Well, I mean, you you said you were doing rehab with them from the the, the Xanathar. I mean, well. yes. I, it, speaking of which, and like Sh- Shaka kind of uh, leans in a little bit, mm-hmm. says, how, "How much do you know about the Xanathar?" I mean, not much, other than what they tell us to be warned about. You know, when it. Sounds too good of a deal. It probably is. Uh, it, prey on those who are in desperate situations. Um, is a real bully, you know. I mean, you work a lot of contracts. Like it seems like you were that. Like you might have heard some some things. Oh, oh no, no, no! I've never built like a temple to Xanathar. Unfortunately, none of my construction work is is taking me in that direction. We stick more to public works, not so much religious iconography. Okay. Do you know of anywhere that might get their attention if we chose to build one of these public works? Ooh. Hey, man. I've been hearing a little bit about them doing some work out in the field ward. There might have been some folks gone missing, which led to a little bit of unrest. City try to bury it has now led to uh, the word is there's been some folks disappearing and some of the issues thinking that they're getting taken deeper into Waterdeep. That's why the troll gate's been shut down. It's a matter of protecting their own as opposed to like this old trade stuff. Deeper into Waterdeep as in the surface or like. Well, I'm, I'm thinking really north south, my guy. What's happening? Okay. People, the kids are going from okay. the field worth being pushed down through. I know, mm-hmm. down down south. I got mm-hmm. it. Um. Uh, I know you probably like to, you know, keep your hands clean from a lot of uh, stuff that might be a little dangerous. Um, but I don't know. I think it might be. I think you could might make a better name for yourself if 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 we try to maybe uh maybe work in the field ward a little bit like they sound like they could use some you know something to enrich that area yeah hey amen i as a former field ward kid i would love that oh you're from the field ward i'm from i'm from waterdeep all the way through there's some people wouldn't say the field ward's part of waterdeep and to them i say get out of here yeah okay all right, yeah. Um, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I do you want to talk about it at the manor more? I can, uh, or, or you know, are you going to talk to Nimrods now, or should we meet yeah. up tomorrow? Uh, I mean, they're pretty busy. Like, we probably have to book a uh, an an appointment. Okay. Well, hey, man, um, shoot me a message when when you get that taken care of, or or whatever. I mean, we. I mean, if you wanted to come by now, we could maybe have a quick conversation. I mean, if you as... want me to come by now, I'll come by now. I was just. It doesn't. I'm good. I'm. I'm having a good time on the bench. You know. <laughs> just a great time on the bench. It, it was my. Se- it took my day off. My guy. I'm. I'm. I'm hitting here. With my coffee. I'm looking. I'm proud of my work. You know. I. Okay. How about? How about? How about we go back to the manor? You can get a refill on that coffee in there. Sold. Um, Sold. Let's do it. And uh, if Duo and Brian are around, we can mm-hmm. have a quick chat. If not, then, you know, maybe you can just, like, leave your information sure. with them, and then they can, you know, contact you. Uh, I think that's great. Let's head on over. And so we right. move over to Troll School Matter as you open the door with Nagru behind you uh, following, and you see, uh, he sees what you see. Uh, a brief moment of two duos being mm-hmm. uh, one ethereal, one corporeal, uh, looking at one another. And before Tahani grabs one and it slowly changes into a doppelganger. <laughs> That's what Shaka does. When he comes in, he yeah. just, he just uh, puts his hand on his head. That's an appropriate okay, Shaka. reaction. Yeah, like like Dahani has her arms full of like wriggling amorphous doppelganger, and she looks over and she's like, "Oh, hey, Shaka." Gazric's hey. gone, so obviously there's another doppelganger problem. 
Yeah. Oh, I, I guess the uh, alarm system, uh, his sensors uh, didn't quite grab that one. Mm. Uh, hey, Mogu, let, let, let's, uh, he hasn't let's been here to re-up it. it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to lead. I'm going to try yeah. to lead, lead Nogru past this oh. scene. Hi, Shaka. Uh, Bye, Shaka. Hey, hey everybody. Wow. Uh, <laughs> You're just going to uh, ignore the doppelganger, really? Uh, I, if you guys look like it's under control, uh, if uh, I'm Dahani sorry, what? I, is grabbing divine. It, <laughs> I'm gonna, good. Um, if Dahan Shock, will let me, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll say Sh Shaka's mind right now is yeah. like, this is an in on solving this mystery. So if this thing is not like, you know, attacking you or something, yeah. he's, mm -hmm. he's like, uh, right. yeah, y'all got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, the it's a tale as old as time. Duo dis <laughs> Gosrick disappears, Duo turns into a do doppelganger. It's fine. You've heard it this happens, before. You know, yeah. Yeah, it, might be is... a, it might be a hold horse that comes back every once in a while to should... get hit with the stick. You know, we should probably have a policy for this by now, to be honest. Let's be real. <laughs> I thought we did. Gosrick was the policy. <laughs> policy yeah, no uh, now, yeah. 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 So, so, so Ashok is going to attempt to walk past. Mm, yeah. I mean, if everything's cool, then he's going to. Yeah. Keep walking if something pops up. We'll fill you in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't go too far, just in case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like he's gonna go over to um, not sure where the Nimrod's uh, office is, or like wh where they're set up at. Is, it's is on, it the, on the, the first floor. The first floor. Main it's floor. across from the the entrance desk. I would say like almost like diagonally. So, um, okay. and you see like Brian at the actual front desk watching this all take place. Um, okay. Hey, Brian. Ah, uh, Shaka, hello. Uh, got a Nimrod's question for you. This is uh, Nogru here. Um, Hi, uh, nice to meet you again. He's like, hey, nice to see you. <laughs> Isn't it great when the NBCs win like you have to talk to yourself? That's so sharp. It's great. It's good. I have to suddenly uh, show. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Nimrod's question. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering if uh, maybe you had some time to talk just uh, really uh, quickly. Yeah. Um, about, about some possible investment thinking about I would love to make time it's unfortunately I'm a little busy because my uh, other head of Nimrods right now is uh, ethereal and they usually <laughs> think that there it goes uh, I will run it up the flagpole once I have the moment to discuss who my partner is um, I don't think it's a doppelganger I'm fairly positive that's not correct but I would like to talk to a corporeal uh duo first before taking any new business on yeah i turned an ogre save see what i mean like this, uh, this bureaucracy is... my guy it's everywhere let me tell you what you know um well right. you you get this sorted out i'll be around you can chat uh and okay. uh I, either way look into what i said about the field ward there might be some stuff in there i will i will uh thanks mm -hmm. uh and Rivals, I... he like keeps walking. I don't know if any of y'all met Nagru over the year, but to to your own, we're kind of yeah. we're kind of involved in a thing right now. Yeah. yeah. So uh, then I I go and walk back over to uh, mm -hmm. the main group. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dahani has just kind of like been poking it in the cheek. Ow! Ow! Uh, and inflicting stunning strike. Just repeatedly stuff. Incredible. That is the well, best you know, not, not, not yeah. every time. Like, like if if it gets too, if the doppelganger gets too squirmy, it sure, gets sure, a sure. stunning strike. Right, right. Oh, it's like, like you know, it's it's like a positive reinforcement. If you don't move, yeah, you won't oh, be wow. forced to not move. Right. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. All I thought of is is it gets the lotion. Oh, no! I was going to say no. We, I mean, I mean, That's we where my brain a, went. We it's there. It's there. Oh. And so, but no. Okay. Um, so, but okay. you're there with the with the uh, the topple. He, he, he's grabbed up and he's like, "What do you want from me? Do you want uh, look you answers? Me. Well, well, question then. Why? Where? How long? For what purpose? Okay. Is the same as why? But I wanted another one. Okay. Why? Cause you got it good, uh, for how long? Uh, I kind of love that answer. Okay, I don't, yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty decent. Yeah. Seven yeah. months, I guess. Holy, I'm so sorry, what? Duo. What's what's the other questions? 
Uh, uh, how, after seven why? months, I feel like I okay. have more questions. Why? Because <laughs> why? we got it good. How, mm-hmm. For how long? Seven months. When, when? I guess that is that's the same as yeah, for how long. Months. For what purpose? Okay, for what purpose in this case is different than why. So for Yes, that's purpose? true. Yeah. Right. You want to know what it is? Yes. All right, guys. Just the jig is up. Oh, and no. you see Hold about on. like what? 10 or what? 11 doppelgangers suddenly <laughs> emerge among your guests. Oh, it says, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's Wait, fine. Wait, oh, no. oh no. I know what this is no. and I'm mad because it's brilliant. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Well, you guys were selfish, okay? You were really selfish. You were oh, given no. a gift. You were given a gift to the city for all of its citizens. Oh boy. Yet some of us were never allowed to enter. Someone's moonbeam would let anyone have access to the fountain for free water except doppelgangers. Oh, is the, the moonbeam on the mountain? Outside. The fountain's on your property, and oh, anyone oh, entering oh, your oh. property has to deal with it. Azric really did a good job with that moonbeam check, didn't he? I really thought it was just over the door. But there are certain slides at the front entrance. There are oh. like a long, there's a long winding road up to the manor. Like, I mean, honestly, for all of the problems that we've had with doppelgangers, I can't say that I'm upset that our entire property is doppelganger least. safe. Let's be real. But like, yeah, also, go ahead. Why, um, why do you have to impersonate someone? Like you yes. can just be your natural. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Form. Like doppelgangers have been allowed to just be where we've wanted to be. Look, at, we showed up. It, we revealed ourselves. You start running. I'm well, because we found okay. you impersonating someone. It yeah. wasn't because you're a doppelganger. Correct. And that is we the line that we should draw here, very clearly in the sand here. It's not that you're a doppelganger. It's that you're a doppelganger who did something to our friend and then impersonated him for seven months. Mm-hmm. Which I also need to now ask about all of your friends. Mm. Where are the people they've been copying? Oh, well, sometimes we just copy people. And then once we get their message, we kind of let them go. Um, and then other people will like, so they can just live and then they'll be like, oh man, I saw your doppelganger the other day. And then it's like, actually, yeah, it was your doppelganger the other day. So like, usually most of these people, it's not really an issue. They're just living their lives. Um, but for duo, it felt a little important to kind of hold on to them, um, for the, the process. And I'm not going to lie. We also got paid a quite a bit of money for them. Uh. Oh, uh, we got there. We got there. You, were, you were already in trouble for the holding on to our friend. Yeah. Now I'm going, we're going to need a little more information from you. Yeah. Well, 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 hey, hey, someone offered this really nice tiefling offered me a deal. And he said, Was it me? That, that, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> he said, Wouldn't you remember? Keep, keep going. Not necessarily, but it wasn't no, me. Go ahead. I mean, would he, would he though? I mean, <laughs> He said that he had a way to disable the Moonbeam security system and that all my people and all of us, the ones that have been struggling here in Waterdeep, could get access to the fountain to get, establish ourselves, to get, to get ourselves to where we needed to be. All he needed was duo. Donna, you go first. Thank you. <gasps> um... What did this tiefling look like? Second question. Show us what this tiefling looked like. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a little hard. Same same thought, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a little hard because I I don't, I haven't spent that much time with him and he he wasn't in a pod for me to get all like the, it's a whole process. I would show us as though your life depended. Our history and society is beautiful and rich and cultured, okay? How we we (laughs) doppel is an ancient tradition. I don't want to know anything about it. Okay. (laughs) And he shifts and begins to change. And you see in front of you, Laren. Yeah. Who? The the boy. The boy. Oh, okay. Oh All my right. god. Seven months. Okay. Seven months. Okay. So Salisa's gonna pull her sword because let's not forget our trauma around doppelgangers. Sure. That's sure. that's fair. That's fair. Uh the rest of them, uh, uh the few that are in the back who had not did not sense violence before are now a little skittish and certainly okay. make some moves. Yeah, okay. Y'all y'all should all 
y'all y'all should on. all come yeah. over here we're not we're not necessarily going to hurt anyone but this <laughs> This I is am very convincing. Situation. You're doing a yeah, very convincing I, job. You don't look good. That window, that window right there looks great for me. <laughs> I have a follow up question. Yeah. How many of you are there here now? Yes. Not in, not in this building, in this city. Our community range is about 250. You know, it, 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 we, we're spread out amongst the city as we can. We're a small portion of it. Uh -huh. But we we have to look out for one another because the moment one of us gets found out, the, we this happens. This inquisition occurs. I, I like continue to feel weird about saying it, but you all a little bit bring it on yourselves by kidnapping and impersonating people. We I hey, don't blame them for what I did. Okay, they yeah. are innocent. I did that. And I sold your friend absolutely to make sure that you they could get access. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that was the deal. I, 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 I get Duo, and then oh. he pays me the money, and that's it. And now you're uh, Laren or whatever that guy's name is. He's got he, uh, me. This is what he looks like. Took took Duo. Took his body. Two more questions. Yeah. Um. Shit, Latia forgot what the question was. No, uh, <laughs> no, 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 wait. Okay, one, uh, do you know where Laren and Duo are now? That is, That was the second question. The first question will come later. Um, well, I mean, no, but kind of. Like... I remember the first question now. Okay. The first question was, aside from duo, do the people you're impersonating know you're impersonating them? No, honestly, usually most people that we impersonate, they like, we can do a rough, um, how do you say it? Approximation? Approximation. Uh, uh, I, I can get your aspects, your, 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 how you genetically present yourself. But I'm not going to get your memories. I'm not going to get what's inside all of that. So I can just change the outside for the longer process of really of truly the the most sacred art of the true doppel. Okay, you can. Takes. Okay, so 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 I love you're you're a great person. Probably I'm sure. Oh However, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your um, passion and fervor for the art of impersonating is not going to fall the way you think it's going to fall during this conversation maybe you shouldn't emphasize it so much my friend Celine no, here so is much disrespect so much disrespect for this ancient tradition and culture let me i just i, I, I stop him <laughs> no no i before you start to strike i'm gonna pin him to the floor like a bug you you strike him and as you strike and he falls to the ground instantly loses his hit points and goes immediately back to his doppel form I just fine, fine. I thought we get he was it. his doppel. Oh, that's right. He was impersonating. He became Laren to do to yeah. the thing, back in his doppel form. It, this uh, amalgus form of gray mass that is uh, in humanoid style, but uh, kind of really uh, featureless in all intents and purposes. Are you done? Fine, fine. Where is our friend? I. Don't know exactly. Do you have I, a way to contact Laird again? No, no. I'm honestly, he he. The deal was done, and he dipped, and I and I got what I needed. My people were had steady access to a place to start and build themselves up. You know, I mean, that's gone. You guys are gonna deny us from the fountain for sure. The current situation is untenable. For various reasons, <laughs> sure, I I will acquiesce to that. I will I will Great. I will acquiesce to that. I'm glad we're finding common ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you know it's easy. Doppelgangers make it very easy to see things from your point of view. Oh, mm. oh dear. Okay. Jesus. Mm. All right. So, so uh. I, I could tell you where he, uh, the last place where I know they were sending them or like Start. the work. Yes. There was some conversation about 
moving goods from oh don't you dare say the field ward no 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 no, no. okay the it, it was the this city is gonna be death. worse yeah i was gonna say uh, gonna be worse. They, had to, they had to get them to some place um i don't know is 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 cash it is some sort of cash, uh, Umbrali's cash, Umbra- Umbra- Oh my god, cash. Uh, Umbra- can I make a religion cash. check and then, depending on that, grab Virgil and like pull him to the side? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Let me see if I know who Umberly is first. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Or if That's... anyone want to give me a history check about the city, like I can uh, definitely fill in the gaps. Oh, here. I'll do history instead of religion. Yeah, 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 yeah. please. Oh While my you're god, doing I never that, open my character. Can, can, I, can I ask a uh, Ancient doppel question. So, uh, you can you can uh, definitely <laughs> want to ask an ancient doppel question about the culture um, of Doppelania. Yes. No. Doppelania is no. old. Can a doppelganger impersonate a dead body? No. Okay. Oh, that's a and shame I, because I had that thought. I was too. really worried about being in the city of the dead and y'all just impersonating. Uh-huh. You know, no, no, man. there needs to be living tissue and living okay. man. It's it is. Okay. The art of the doppel requires breath. It requires um, life. It's, yeah, cool. Please. it's an active art. I shove my sword further. and <laughs> I, 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 Solis, Solis, if we kill him, we don't get any information. I know this is your default, but let's let's not kill him. I'm not trying yeah. to kill him. He's just hurt. Yeah, just uh, it's not going to make him. Give me, give me it's these... not going to make him want to give us information if you continue to hurt him. You sure? So far, it hasn't gone great. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about uh, some of these uh, checks, though. Uh, I got a 16. 16? And I rolled very poorly, but I'm proficient, so I got a 24. Well, I, I saw there's a 19 in chat from... Uh, I think from me, but I get at least a 10 on anything that on the die on anything that I'm proficient in because of a rogue Perfect. feature. Okay. So, and then I have a plus 14 in history. No, no, no. no. We'll, we'll do... Uh, this is good. So, um, for folks who know a little bit about um, the way that this works. Umberly's cash is in the, uh, let me pull it up right here. It's basically in the heart of uh, the dock ward in the middle of the sea. And uh, it's underground caverns that are completely flooded. um, And people who pay to Umberly throw their tides into the bay and they're sucked into the cash. What you're thinking now oh, is no. understanding a little bit about this is maybe someone else has been using the currents to smuggle things in and out of the city. Maybe someone dropped and like the guy's talking, like, I, I don't know, maybe they threw him into the water and kind of just let his body carry out that way. And then from there, it's real easy to get things out of the Stormhaven Island. Like and all oh, of that's boy. super easy to get out that way. Um, then it's out and then it's it's gone it's it's out of uh water deep just gonna pull virgil a little bit aside and just sort of whisper hey um can you think of any reason that your family might want duo didn't we find their crest in the city of the dead too i don't Generally, it's money or power. I don't know how Duo is necessarily, <laughs> except for getting access to us. Oh, but surely they're not. Okay. Mm. All right. We'll go back over. And that's. I don't have any more thoughts about it than that. I just. <laughs> hey. Uh, incorporeal Duo? Yeah. <laughs> What do you remember? I think we asked this question last episode, but what mm-hmm. do you remember about waking up being finally incorporeal as you have claimed to be for the last several years? Well, I woke up. Well, honestly, like it kind of feels like a blur, but I, I remember waking up today. And I was out in the forest for whatever reason. And I was like, that's weird. And I just kind of floated my way back into the building. And, you know, at first I I was like, hey, remember some walls are built with anti-ghost technology. So you have to, you can't phase through them. But I was like, you know, I'm I'm better at it. I I felt better at it today. And I just went through most of them. Um, 
can you I, I I start this question, I stop, I close my beak, I turn to the rest of the rivals. Is it worth it if Dio do Dio? I have a dog. Is Aww. it worth it? Well, like, is, it jo- is it JoJo now? Are we doing yeah, JoJo? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, the music <laughs> I do almost call him duo sometimes. I swear. Yes. Um, is it? Would it be worth it if duo led us to where he woke up? That might bring us some leads. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I mean, I can do that. That's no problem. Um, you also, if 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 we do this, you also have to remember that we are not ghosts, and right. you have to lead us the way a, a, a corporeal person would go because we can't go through walls like you can. Okay. Well, can. Hey, hey, guys, I've been a host here for a while, okay? I know how to show guests around that they can get around, okay? Making Wait, sure. did you wake up? Oh, you're talking in general, okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, yeah, I've been working it. at the manor for a bit. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, are you all ready to go right now? I mean... It feels um, pressing enough. Yeah, okay. yeah it feels yeah. pretty pressing. Oh, yeah. well, uh, Ver- Duple, it was nice meeting you. Um, oh, look no. down after the manor while I'm gone. No. I'm going to trust no, you. It seems like you got a good idea about... Yeah. He's been doing the job for seven months, guys. He's been yeah, doing that's it. That's actually not uh, a bad point. As much as I don't like it, he hasn't burned down uh, the manor yet. I mean, I mean, I mean Brian can... Uh, you know, That can, too. Yeah, okay. I, Brian's not yeah, a double, but, right? That would be weird. Are they, are they, no, are they impersonating? <laughs> are the, um, are the other yeah, right. are the doppelgangers still hang, hanging out? Are they still here? I think they were all just sort of frozen whether or not okay. if they move, they'll die or if they no. so, <laughs> stay. <laughs> <they'll die. laughs> Virgil, Virgil says to Brian, Brian, um, and he points, he indicates the, the frozen and possibly terrified. They are our guests. Yeah. Please treat them with hospitality. And then he looks at our guests. Don't cause any trouble while we're gone. And maybe don't leave the property while we're gone. Are we prisoners you are not, here? No, no, by no means. But clearly, as I said, and as we seem to all agree, the current situation is untenable. Yeah. And what we don't want <laughs> is for the situation to become worse should others in the North Ward discover your presence because as you have noted you all are not the most trusted individuals and we're going to do our best to figure this situation out but until we have more information it's probably best that we don't inadvertently accidentally though no one through no one's direct fault cause a panic in the north ward while we're gone okay get it we understand great um just it feels like you all had some trouble with some doppelgangers in the past and just don't want to don't don't blame us for all the stuff that you've been through you know we are we are working on our trust issues and i believe that this is an opportunity for both of us to trust each other yes sure that uh you see a double switch back in the his duo form and it said all right well i'll keep tack of uh everything here me and brian will lock down the fort like we usually do uh He's seven months. He's gotten really good at the duo voice, too. Yeah. yeah. It, like, nailed it. I, I didn't do it, man. It's not too bad. The, the other one's like, I don't know if I really sound like that. It's, 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 it's... <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, but, yeah, you guys um, begin to follow duo out. And he starts uh, taking you around and leading you towards... Um, out through the city, sort of heading down southwest. and you begin to stand yourself in front of the city of the dead. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you all do when you arrive at the city of the dead? <laughs> well, what does duo do? Well, I mean, yeah. I, I, I got through the walls. I phased through the walls and I don't know how you all want to do this. Well, is it, it should be. The oh, gate? Yeah, isn't there an the gate should be <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's one of those things. Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't had to use that, so. Uh, which way? I'm all turned around because I just went kind of straight over. Which way do you... Um... I thought you were leading us to... No, I'm here. I mean, it's inside. It's like directly southwest of it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why, don't you do, why don't you do this? <laughs> okay. Why don't you 
go through the wall and stand where we should meet you, and okay. we'll go around through the gate and come find you. Okay. And I'll go I mean, up and help. Perfect. 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 I was gonna say it's a pretty big space. So you don't want to lose yeah. me. Um. Well, I'll see you all inside. Yeah. And he goes through. <laughs> Kent, do you want to follow him? Oh, should I should I go that way? Maybe I should go that way. Yeah, I'll uh I'll ghost walk and go with him through the wall. And I will go up and watch. So you go up Elver and watch and you uh, Kent also and ghost form goes to the wall. The rest hmm. of y'all um circle around the wall yeah. to the Why? front uh, for an entrance of ways, and you find one, um, sort of setting yourself up near. Let's see, you. I'm gonna uh, someone roll me a d4. Ooh. Ooh. I got a only one person. Oh, one of the walking crew of the walking crew. Uh, that's a four. That is a four. Perfect. Okay, so you guys pop in. Um, and you are uh, coming in uh, near the Lord's respite um, mm. of the. You you make your way through, and the Lord's respite is the first sort of denomination or like real location you find in the uh, city of the dead as you pull around. And it's pretty quiet as you're making your way through. You notice that it's not really that many undead stirring at this moment. The biddies wards and magical protections that are lying above the actual uh, city that you can see in the inside if you look with a certain arcane uh, eye it's shimmering protecting it from folks le from some of the undead ilk leaving when they shouldn't um Dahani, as you're flying above you notice and you see some of the um you see the group sort of walking their way through and you, you see duo positioning himself uh near the Melchember Mausoleum, um, mm. which is uh, located sort of near the top end. It's not on the interactive map, but if you were to think about it, it would be Rhodes End. Um, and so okay. at the top end of that sort of area, as you guys push your way in, uh, and Kent, you're slowly falling behind uh, Duo's ghosts as they're going through. As the walking group sort of walks past Lord's, the Lord's Respite, you can see that the front... Oh, anyone can give me a perception check, actually. Anybody? Well, I would say out of that group. So, okay. uh, Shaka, when he gets back, if he wants to, uh, mm. and then Salise and Virgil can roll. From the walking crew. Oh, from the walking crew. And uh, give me your own perception roll. I, I, I need... uh, dirty 20. Dirty yeah. 20. Bro, Heck that's... yeah. Nice. That works. So you see it as you watch. Uh, you, you notice it. It's the hinges on the door are askew. The gate that would lead into the Lord's oh. respite is oh, sort no. of off. Great. Uh, and uh, do you want to see inside? Do you want to poke your head in? Can what? I I don't want to assume that yeah. be that that, that oh, what, I know. What is, yeah. Oh, oh I, I got a, I got a twenty one. You got twenty one. So above. Um, do you want me to tell you first before you ask your question? Just to yeah, sure. It might help you out. Um, and so as you're going over, you have the best vision of the group. You look around and you see the deep winter vault that is sort of near the other side. You look mm -hmm. at it and there's a crack in the ceiling and you can see inside empty. The um, Brandelath Mausoleum, also mm -hmm. in a similar capacity, you see a, like a little shining through the, the ceiling. Empty, vacated. The uh, Yeah, those are the two major ones that you sort of pass by. And the you watch as... Duo is making their way up to the Melchimber uh, mausoleum um, by themselves, and Kent, you're slowly following behind them. I'm going to leave it up to the walking crew. You, uh, so at least you see that the hinges on the door to the Lord's respite are off, are askew. The gate is not securely shut. Um, I'm going to actually take the tip of my sword and kind of try to swing the gate open a little bit further, Perfect. but not go in yet. 
you take your sword, you bring it out the tip, and you wedge it in between the gap of the gate and the front, and you pop it open. As it pops open, there's a rush of air, and it comes and knocks you. Make it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you make me fall over some air, <laughs> Constitution saving throw from the necro breath. No, uh, oh, the gate no. swings open and is nasty. No. It is dead, gross bug air just sort of wishing out of you, but also nothingness. The Lord's respite, the home, the true end where the masked lords of uh, Waterdeep are buried, unbeknownst to everyone else, with their trinkets, their uh, nomifiers, identifying them in some capacity. An untold amount of history and wealth and just culture from Waterdeep, empty. There is nothing here, not a single scrap left of this uh historic monument and history of Waterdeep. Oh, hey Kent. Not with you. Well <laughs> oh right, because we are yeah, we yeah, are still yeah, trying yeah. to get uh -huh. to There's... where they yeah. There are okay. Yeah, I just I just called out for Kent because I'm yeah. like nothing's yeah. here. Yeah. Is this Kent <laughs> this is a Kent thing. Absolutely. For a moment uh, Virgil starts to go and it's like no, it doesn't doesn't work the other way. <laughs> no, 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 the same way. Uh, you have to, you have to do the message disturbance. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I'll just I'll just carefully go in, but I've yeah. got like my sword at the ready. Yeah. And like after Kent didn't answer, I'm like, well, guess we're gonna see what happened. Yeah. <laughs> so there should like it's it's sort of it's sort of obvious that there probably should be things in here, and there's nothing yeah. in here. There's truly dust rings around wow. so many items and so many movements. You see um, bags have been dragged through the dirt. Like you can see the tracks. Oh. If anyone wants to give me like a okay. deeper investigation to sort of like understand. So what, grave like, robbers is what you're saying. Absolutely. And matches up what was said in the, the meeting in the last mass Lords. Someone oh, is right. robbing the tombs and the mausoleums of Waterdeep. You know? Can I do a nature check instead? Yeah, absolutely. Give me a nature. Check. We need to track some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Give me give, give me some of those rolls. Oh, uh, I'll do it. It's my worst, but <laughs> it's a seventeen. Ooh. The dice said yay. Seventeen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. To be nature. So I've got a plus nine. Wonderful. I think that's great. Um, you uh, uh what a shocker get? Uh, twenty one. Twenty one. Incredible. You all are looking through the space, and obviously there's physical labor that was caused to move this. Um, but nature's a great role because you feel something slightly different as you're moving through the space. The, the air is stale and gross, except for one part where it's suddenly super fresh and it smells of the sea. Oh. The sea? I really am looking around like, where's Kent? We need him. <laughs> Kent's just uh, over, just cut, smash cut to Kent, just like happily taking rubbings of headstones. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> You're taking your time. I, and I think we should also check in on Kent in this moment. We talked about Latia, uh, sorry, Tahani's, uh, Latia's character, Tahani, in the sky, <laughs> viewing. Uh, uh, I, I should have just led with it. Wonderful safe. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> sort of in the sky looking, and you see more of these mausoleums there's like skylights in them there's little pockets and you see the way that they are sort of vacated um some areas have been untouched um and you honey i think as kent you notice this um like the uh home uh the house of the homeless where the folks of Waterdeep who are uh houseless end up being uh, their final resting place in the city mm. untouched that has not been sort of moved but anything um even the heroes shrine uh Ooh. the the shrine of the warriors monument mm -hmm. also untouched like these oh. sort of moments of like these larger community figures and like oh. positions unsort of moved but the larger mausoleums the ones that are true um epithets to um status and uh grandeur picked clean i mean Oh, well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fine with me. Uh, uh, no. Um, 
Yeah, I think just as I take rubbings of some of the older headstones, just for my own little research, I'll I'll keep note of of this sort of thing and like mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if it's a little rough map or mm-hmm. a list or something of like yeah. what I see has been broken into, what has not. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and you sort of take a list of this. Um, I think after a little bit, you all. Oh yes, Tahani. Um, no, you, I was gonna. Yeah. I mean, I just had my hand up so that you could finish and then get to me. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I, w- I was gonna say, it, I was just gonna gather the party at duo. So, if there's something before then that happens that you want to talk about or do something instead of that, no, please. I wanted to ask, yeah, for, uh, with my bird's eye view, I rolled a survival and got a 14, okay. but um, I wanted to see if all of these mausoleums, like if they've been, if I can see from the sky that they've been picked clean, yeah. Do I also see tracks or drag marks where these, like, where this stuff has been taken? Absolutely. Like, I mean, Latia has an idea of where it's going, but mm-hmm. Dahani doesn't know. And so as you watch and you see the way that they've been dragged, you notice them actually, you couldn't know, see it before because you weren't actually from that gate, but they are all being dragged south. They're going through the southernmost gate that is past um, the Hall of the Sages. Um, okay. and sort of being moved that way. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Huh. Uh, then, yeah, once I, um, you know, I've kind of triangulated where the walking crew is versus yeah. where the cor- the incorporeal crew is, and then as we're all converging, then mm-hmm. I also I also will converge. You all converge down at the Maelstrom Room uh, sort of space and the mausoleum, and uh, Duos goes to, yeah, um, I remember waking up here, um and then i just sort of uh thought ah man that is wild i don't know what kind of night i had that got me out here but let me head on back um and then i started walking back um he starts floating you got real southern for a few words he's just a little bit a little bit uh he's, yeah, he's from brooklyn i loved you know? it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh being dead so, changes a person it's fine i listen right, right. <laughs> he doesn't actually it, i don't know how We'll talk about it in the post. Yeah, show, yeah. But, well, about <laughs> ghost cords and how that works. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost <laughs> cords. <laughs> nice. Um, but he, he's uh, around and he sort of looks down and says, "Ah, okay." Uh, and he, uh, this is where I saw. I guess this is, uh, and there's a scrap of like a shirt on the ground, and he's like, "Oh, I guess this is my shirt." Yeah, okay. Where is Gosric with his locate object when we need him? We can right. just use... Oh. <laughs> triangulate, triangulate. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what was I going to do? Um, it's a, I mean, sorry, while you're thinking, it's a scrap of the shirt or the whole shirt? It's a scrap of the shirt. Okay, just making sure. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to look for other pieces of the shirt. Yeah. Sure. You start digging through and start looking for other pieces of shirt. It um, There's a rest of the mausoleum. It oh. enters at the beginning. You've got walked in. There's a nicer sort of space, but you see stairs leading deeper underground to the depths of it. If you guys want to explore further. Can I ask duo? So wait, you woke up inside of this place or right here? I woke up up here I, okay. uh, with this with this piece right here. Okay. So this is where you start remembering. Yeah. 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 Okay, and then okay, from okay. there, I just walked that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Because okay. down there looks spooky. <laughs> You're a go. Never mind. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what? There's spook. Like, ghosts can be spooked by things. That's fine. There's plenty I, of. I guess you know. So. You know. Ghost doesn't mean invincible. I... Well, you know. Hold enough. on. Wait a minute. Yeah, we are. I've. Yeah. I mean, I radiant damage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My... <laughs> Suddenly very All right. conversant on the things that can do you harm. Yeah. <laughs> duo. I'm very impressed. Yeah. All right. Let's go with the mausoleum. This is the Melchimber mausoleum, you said? This is the Melchimber mausoleum. Yeah, there might be some good wine down there. Get over now. Mert, man. Definitely. <laughs> do we want ma- mausoleum wine, though? I mean, it's it nice and recently aged. as offerings, and yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Other ones. Yeah. We went different yeah, we're, directions. We're so according to Kent and Mert. Virgil, Kent and Virgil, of course, they would have the case for Mel- for, for, for Mel- Mer wine. Hell I yeah. also fully suspect that we are going to find Mert down here just like, oh, uh-huh. I didn't drinking think that last bottle. Like, <laughs> Funny you should say that because as you're around, no, I'm kidding. I'm, I, wish, I wish I had thought of that before. Wow. Um, all right. But, so. but you, yeah, you can start going down. And yeah. um, you witness it, it's a spiral staircase covered in earth and stone. 
um, peeking out in between. And it, the smell is not terrible. It's still pretty okay as you get deeper and deeper into the actual uh, mausoleum. You let out on its lower level, the, it's the top and the bottom, and you start walking through. Um, and up ahead, you see a fairly... You see a light. It's giving off a blue radiance. It seems to be almost like a candle in nature on a torch or something, but it, it's further out. Um, do you guys want to just keep walking? Um, this is an incredible example of pre-spell plague architecture. I'm so excited we're seeing this firsthand. <laughs> oh my God. And just to confirm, uh, we're all back learn. together again, right? Yes, I think so. yes. The full yeah, crew, I, I, you got duo with you. I think yeah. go, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm with Shaka. Yeah, I, I say keep walking. Yeah. Absolutely. And so as you all move forward um, and you walk to the blue light, uh, you search for a moment. Do says, oh, look. And there is another scrap of this shirt at the base. Uh, you pick, He picks it up and he holds it and, and he's, he puts them together and says, okay, we're almost there. I think I probably just I, like... I hand him a needle and thread. <laughs> Okay. You know, you know, I, Go for that it. falls through his hand. It's a little too dexterous oh. for me him to, to hold oh. on to. It's a little too tight. Now I'm beginning to think that he's choosing what he can touch and can't touch. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, well, a little sure narrative to him, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. I don't know. You know? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. It's like selective hearing, but yeah, selective yeah, yeah. corporeality. Hey, why do they not just fall <laughs> constantly through the ground? We'll never know, you know? <laughs> They're float, right? Oh. Ghosts are beholden to gravity. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, but as they're standing there and says, I mean, and then suddenly uh, you look off in the distance and another blue light comes on a little bit further down. Wait, comes did it, did on? It, did it turn on? To, like, did it re- like, so mm. when we got down, it appears that it reacted to our presence. And mm. the moment you arrived at this space, mm. stayed here for mm. whatever amount of time oh, you stayed, oh. then that now light it, turned on. That's like, now it feels lighting. like we're, I like that. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. I was going to say, now it feels like we're being baited, but sure. <laughs> Well, I mean, what game are we playing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This whole thing's been a beat. Bait. <laughs> well, yes, keep ooh, walking down. Um, ooh, do we hear or see any, like, it's give just. Give me a perception. Is, yeah, yeah, give me a perception right. to what you perceive. I'll and do the thing. Right. I will yeah. perce- what game are we playing? I will perceive a dirty 20. <laughs> Oh, very nice. I must have a natural 20, but it's Oh, I did have a natural 20. Oh, <laughs> incredible. Oh, wow. Okay. I will so, try to perceive. Let's, yeah, perce- yeah, yeah, yeah. let's percept it really hard, everybody. <laughs> I did not perceive that well. I only got a 16. So uh, on your 20, uh, then everyone else, you're, you smell what you smell. You hear what you hear. It is uh, dark and... Uh, damp and musty the air is filled with not decay but just age and just mm-hmm. like the true these are this is old air i know you're in your happy place in this stop space. it um <laughs> mausoleum terroir yes <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but ken as you're standing there and you're smelling and you're looking you didn't get hit with it the other the way the other folks did you didn't smell Oh. The fresh air oh. until now. Oh. And it is almost familiar. Almost close. There's this, this this smell of fresh something? The smell of fresh sea air, yes. Hmm. Uh, mm. It I reminds wonder... you uh-huh. often. Of when you first wake up and oh, roll yeah. over okay. onto another pillow that's empty. Because because <laughs> Virgil wears sea air cologne. Sea to air bed. cologne um, in some capacity. Yeah. <laughs> um natural. <laughs> I wonder exactly. Yeah. I wish oh natural. I wonder if the Melsh what I will say is I wonder if the Melshimpers know that there's a smuggling tunnel through their family mausoleum. Mm. Uh, I can't imagine like yeah, Maybe. that because I'm looking. I'm now looking at the map and the overall, and I'm just like, uh-huh. "That's, I I'll, like, that's really good." <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. And, uh, yeah. So I think we're gonna end up being let out by, well, by the coast somewhere. You say that, mm-hmm. and you're you're moving forward, and you follow the next light, 
and the next light, and you reach a dead end. Oh. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm an expert. <laughs> yeah, let's. Yeah, I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. so I'm, also, know, I'm, I'm also not sure that a rich family doesn't know that the rich family that deals in wine doesn't know that there's a smuggling fair. tunnel in their family mausoleum. Let's be real. Yeah, they probably put uh, it there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Dahani says, hold on, I'm an expert, but then remembers that like there's no kind of like magicalness the same way that there was. We're still, in, behind, uh, we're still behind you. We're still we're still like trusting because yeah. you always yeah. seem to figure these out. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna make uh Dahani is gonna make an investigation check. It's it's not the greatest thing that she does, but no, like for sure. Yeah, she's, she's got that that Strixhaven confidence. Yeah. <laughs> or an 18. Or an 18. Hey. No, incredible. And so you're doing an investigation. You're looking at these bricks in front of you um, and sort of don't see any sort of like secret lever, secret push. But you do, as you're looking around, notice footprints in the dust near this area. Mm -hmm. There's something, someone else was here. Someone else did exist in this space and they rounded a corner. They sort of arrived here and they doubled back. Ooh. Maybe it magically changes if we go through it again. Doubled back? Like they like, hit like the you... dead end and... Just went back the way we came? So they... It looks to be that uh -huh. a set of footprints arrived there, stopped, and turned around. Okay, but we, but like, so they end at the wall and then suddenly start walking away from the wall. Uh, or do no, we see like a little curve? There's path? a curve. Oh, okay. There okay, 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 okay. And that's what I mean, double back. And like, Got actually, okay. you see the bend. Okay. I'm going to follow those footprints. Like, yeah. yeah. Like the way a bird hops in snow, like you're yeah. going to stick to hunt kind of like <laughs> hops into these footprints yeah. and follows them. You start following them and the rest of y'all, do you keep up with Tahani as they move forward? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You start going around, start doubling back, and you start following these lanterns again as they start illuminating for you one after another, after another. And suddenly you're in a large central room with a circular design, a dome on top. There's multiple braziers start lighting up on the side and you see tombs around you, four of them sort of standing around. What do y'all do when you enter? That was cool as shit. I don't know how yeah. that magic worked, but that was cool. Uh, I'm gonna investigate the tombs and see if any familiar names come up or do a history if I see a name. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Give me a uh, religion checks. Give me an uh, investigation. Give me so, one of those. Uh, I guess I'll roll investigation or history, depending on what I find. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba. Um, yeah, all my all my big pluses are not in a skill that will help me right now. <laughs> I've never I've never asked for anything I'm good at. Like what? <laughs> 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 What's my lowest modifier? Can yeah, I do an athletics yeah, yeah. check? That's why that's why wow. Gunther does so many of those uh, athletics checks, right? Like, yeah, totally like we all this work door together off. as a team. Like that's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's only a twelve. For it's Celise. only a twelve. No, no, no. It's okay. Uh, for Celise, as you look around, you, this place has also been pilfered. Like mm -hmm. whoever oh. was here followed this system. They were making it around. They figured out how to move in this place, and like. Cophicus is empty. Cophicus is empty, just moving around. And oh, suddenly hmm. in the center, you do see another scrap. Oh, shit. Okay. What's oh, in the center? I'm oh, sorry. Of the room? Just a scrap of shirt. Oh. What? I mean, I guess we would once again try to see, since we've been able to detect footprints, <laughs> to see if they lead out or any discernible path through or sure. i mean at this point you know they may go around the room and back out again i'm uh -huh. not sure mm -hmm. does anyone uh so as you're all looking around does anyone pick up the t-shirt scrap you leave it on the I, floor honestly, oh, I, duo i would i oh. would like to and i would also kind of like to um examine all of them 
yeah. for things that would not normally be on a scrap of shirt. Oh. Absolutely. So you go over and you pick up this other scrap of shirt and you begin to investigate it. Give me, uh, or do you want to give me an investigation during of your perception? Of course I would. Absolutely. Anyone can help out with this as well if you're looking at this. Yeah, shirts. someone help. Oh. Uh, yeah, Kent. I mean, this is a little yeah. anthropological in ter- instead of archaeological, but yeah, I'll help. That's not uh, exactly yeah, in his I field, well. but he's going to work. It's I'll okay. Try. It's <laughs> okay, but I, I helped you out by one number. By one? That's a picture. Um, yeah, if, you'll let, if you'll let this be a nature check, it's a 26. I, I will I will let it be a nature check. I'll let this be collectively. You guys yeah. try to figure these, this out. You these put fibers the are... Fibers yeah. together, they're natural, and you begin to understand a little bit that, yeah, it's duo shirt but something is different about it it was mm-hmm. treated in some way and as the si- the uh, pieces get together a sigil forms on the inside of the scrap and from it a voice emerges rivals shit oh no Who are thank you? you been a while i've missed you shaka bud what a time it's been. You, oh, no. Oh, we have oh, so much to oh, catch up God. on. Oh. There's so much to tell you about. Hey, Mr. Hey, what's the sigil look like? It looks like a Xanathar. You. And in that moment, erupting uh. from the earth, you see four zombies, two zombie ho- uh, ogres, and one zombie beholster. Oh, my God. Wait, holster? Uh, holster? I'm sorry, I had the gun, gun in it. I know we're in a homebrew, but I was thinking of a floating a gun. Over my head. Like, oh, zombie a floating beholster. zombie yeah. gun. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. such a good game. I've spent too many hours in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, did did Megatron enough. appear? Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Autobots, roll out. <laughs> Everything happens like, okay. Oh, man. Uh, oh. For the record, I used the encounter builder to create this encounter, and it listed it as trivial. So I trust you. I trust you. We're gonna die. Oh. We're gonna TPK. <laughs> yeah. We know it's, it's our final season, but you're not supposed to try to make it our right. final. Final. Right. Right. Okay. Thank you. Don't put final in it. Um, Trivial. That's when we fall down. I exactly. mean, we're fighting in a tomb. It does feel a little bit on point. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it was deadly, we would be fine. But an easy encounter easy is where we trip over our own feet. <laughs> <and. Yeah. laughs> wow. Because you said it, and the dice heard you say it. So That's now, right? Yeah. Um. Well, so you said uh, four zombies, uh, four two, zombies, two, two zombies, two ogre zombies, two ogre and zombies, one beholster, and one, zombie. one beholster zombie. I would one love beholster. to understand why the Melshimbers have zombie ogres in their mausoleum. That would be a great question to ask them. How do they? How yeah. do they even get there in the first? How do you? Place? How do you think they get that distinctive flavor into their wines? <laughs> oh. 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 Antifreeze, yeah. is that what's up? Yeah, yeah. Yes. soiling. No. So does the voice. <laughs> okay. Once, once the uh, once the oh, once, yeah. once this starts, the voice stops, or is it still is it still oh, yeah. and taunting us? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, it is left. It is disappeared. It okay. disappeared. Um, so I think we have to roll I do a thing. I think that's yeah. roll. Let's roll it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to do, if you want, I want to do one, something oh, as a bonus action. Very as, generous as of you. Coming up into the uh, into emerging as you hear this voice, I will let you all have one. Bonus action to prep. I'm going to use Frightful Presence. Hey! There it is. You get your Frightful Presence off. Heck yeah. Yeah, let somebody with better charisma than me do it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So basically, everyone of my choosing has to do a D... It has to be a Wisdom Saving Throw. DC equal to 8 plus my Charisma Modifier, which is a 10. Okay. You... So they have to get at least an 18. Okay, well, let me tell you what. Ooh. Zombies are not wise. Uh, so we will have to <laughs> encounter and deal with that in a moment. I'm going to run. Um, I'm going to get numbers from folks. Can we? Uh, oh, me, yes. Or does anyone else do anything as their bonus section? Um, me... Seeing that Solis is, has already has already manifested, I think that's good. Okay. Um... okay. Good. Who got above a 20 then? Uh, Kent's got a 25. Okay. And I got a 23. Good God. What in the? Uh, I have a plus I, four initiative. I got a plus eight. Got Who's nothing. 15 to 20? Hold on a sec. My. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Latia and I are over here like, no, nah, we'll wait. We'll wait. We, we, we got time. Yeah. yeah. No. We'll go next episode. 
<laughs> no, my my D and D Beyond. Uh, crash. Oh, did it? Oh no. oh no! She used to die. Don't you have dice on your desk? While you're doing that, I will tell this very brief story. That tw- two sessions in a row, my Friday night home game, we've been in the middle of an. In- we're at finishing while beyond the witchlight. We've been in the middle of an intense combat, and the D and D Beyond character sheets have just gone down in the middle of a turn, and everybody <laughs> no. goes, "No!" <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Do you think after the first time it happened, we downloaded our character sheets and remembered to have them just no. in case? No. 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 <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, All right. All right. I got 15. There you go. 15. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a 10. And I think for my bonus action, you see Dahani like take a you know, take an attack stance. Yeah. And you really haven't seen her use a weapon in four or five seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, so you just see like she like pulls out the claws, but you you see like they get a little bit sharper and a little bit more like deadly looking mm-hmm. because uh I've been a Kensei monk and I've never I've never used a single Kensei action. So uh, yeah. I'm using I'm using uh sharpen the blade. And I'm spending three key points to make my to give my claws plus three to attack and to attack. Ooh, and yes. Yes. Ooh, Keep track of that. Yes. Please. I, I think that's dope. And I'm just gonna ask so you to awesome at this punish me for it later. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you had a 10, you said? Yes. Cool. Okay. Uh so so far it is Kent, Celise, the zombie beholder, Ashaka, Dahani, and then it will be the ogre zombies. Oh, actually, uh, yeah. under from five to ten, what did we get? But yeah, eight for Virgil. Eight for Virgil. So actually, it's going to be Virgil, and then Ogre Zombie, and then regular zombies. Cool. Kent, you're first off the board. Uh, okay. They are so... in a uh, half moon formation. Oh, uh, glorious! Sort of, uh, standing uh, around you, the four. Uh, zombies are two apart, uh, sort of surrounding the ogre zombie in between, and then the zombie beholder is behind them. Um, right. kind of like, uh, yeah, yeah, like bowling balls, like a bowling pins almost. Oh, great. And are they all in a single, like, bowling pin triangle or two separate ones? You said, uh, kind of like if you were looking at it from where all the larger number of pins were facing you, and oh, so like okay. the beholder is behind them and in that way. Got it. Got so I will, uh, I'm just going to casually walk up and uh, just sort of over my shoulder at the rest of the group, like, let's try something new. Uh, And I'm going to put my thumbs together and hold them out in front of me. And uh, I'm going to cast Burning Hands. Iconic. Yeah. Uh, So this is a 15 foot cone in front of me. So however many of them I can. You know what I would actually do? Trying to think of what is. Yeah, I'll get right up to them. So I hit, well, you tell me how many of them, which ones I hit, but whichever ones are in this 15 foot cone need to make a dexterity saving throw. Perfect. Okay, so it's definitely going to be, and how big is the 15 foot cone? It it's starts from me okay. and at its widest opens up to 15 feet across. So it's not going to get all of them because sure. I think that's a little bigger. But I you tell me you, the zombie beholder is just out of range. But okay. the, the six of the rest of them, the four and the two, Great. you definitely hit them. Right. Um, and they need to get dexterity. Dexterity saves first. DC cool. 17. DC 17. You're very generous <laughs> thinking that that would happen. Okay, let's roll for the, well, the zombies. One never knows. Uh DC. Oh, see, uh, one you never know knows. Oh, they no, all fit past one it. One does know because they have a minus oh. two. Oh. It has an eighteen on the <laughs> die. Minus oh. two, sixteen. Oh. <laughs> to the zombies. We will roll. Yeah, it's for the two, and they're very the best. We appreciate they're it. They're also minus mm-hmm. two. That is a four. So it's six minus two is four. So Incredible. you hit both of them full on. How much damage do you do to them? Delightful. So I do 19 fire damage 19 to each of them. Fire damage. Incredible. Right. They uh are looking really rough. The zombies look really bad. The regular zombies uh look really, really uh toasted, if you will. Um uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to disengage and just be okay. like, I crisped them up for you, Celise. Have at it. Perfect. Um, and then I think that with that, you did your movement, you did your action, your bonus action. Celise, it's up to you. Uh, I'm going to do Hail of Thorns at fifth level. Okay. Heck yeah. Hail of Thorns at fifth level. So they need to make a dexterity saving throw. Mm-hmm. 
And then depending on whether they make that's it or me. not, um, I still roll, but they only take half if they make the save. Mm-hmm. So that's okay. going to be 6d10 for them. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, 5d10. 5d10. And this is um, for the area, remind me, is it you're targeting the group, the front line of zombies in, uh, ogre zombies in front? Um, or how many yes. targets does it actually uh, hit? Because... I'm just double checking really quick. No worries. Um, oh, the front line because it has to be within a uh, has to be pretty close range. Cool. So these are the ones that have always been peppered up also by uh, Ken's actions. So give yes. me a, and it it is a bonus action, but that's okay. That's great. And then you still have you'll have your movement afterwards. <clears throat> Um, and it's 5d10, so let me mm-hmm. roll, and if they make it, they only take half. Okay. And what is the uh, save I should roll for? Dexterity, at least 16. You guys, these dexterity saves. Come on. F them zombies. Uh, one, two, three. Would you prefer wisdom saves? You know, honestly? <laughs> oh, 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 oh! One of them that was got too an F20. Yeah, uh, I, don't I don't like that so much. Uh, and so, <laughs> the uh, uh, the other uh, one ogre zombie. It, well, tell me what happens, and I'll describe to you what occurs. Um, so Celise gestures, mm-hmm. and out of what seems like thin air, a line opens up, and just dark thorns just shower out of the sky onto the zombies. They just start going like sort of pouring down. And yeah. one of the ogre zombies having just being singed up from this last moment raises its shields up and like kind of deflects it while like diving out of the way. And so he gets no damage. Well, actually, no, he gets, he gets half, half. Right. right. So he's, it's 32. 32. So he so takes for 16. Those that fail, mm-hmm. it's six. For those that fail, it's 32. For those that make it, it's 16. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. I wanted to throw something new at y'all. I wanted y'all to find some zombies because you haven't had to deal with it. I wanted to mess you up with a little bit with the skill that zombies have called uh, Undead Fortitude. Fortitude. <gasps> if the damage oh, reduces the tell. zombie to That's... zero hit points, it must make sure you save constitution saving throw with the DC of five plus the damage taken. There is no way <laughs> no. They're yeah. gonna get a, th- a thirty-seven. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I will there's, roll. I will there's, there's roll. A the chance. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if, it get, if it gets a nat twenty, I'm gonna honor a nat twenty. I'm 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 gonna yeah. do that. But I will, yeah. I will, I will do this. Uh, oh, sorry, it was sixteen damage it halved, and the other no. one gets uh, the rest of them get thirty-two though. Correct. The ogre zombies are still up. They you did not break their uh, undead fortitude yet, um, and so that is. 34 for one, and then 16, 40. Sorry, blah, 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 blah. you didn't hear those numbers. There's the numbers no way real. that the Xanathar actually thinks this was going to be a threat to us, I'm right? So, like, he knows us. He literally watched very you all sneaky, kill though. a great worm. <laughs> yeah, <very sneaky. laughs> right? I'm telling you. That's the question. The, uh, so the now, we're, now we're basically question? like, so what's the, re- like, yeah, like, yeah. What's, what's really going okay. on? We're like Let's very see. distractedly poking at these zombies while we look around for the real threat. <laughs> wow. Just, just, yeah, hold on. Just here. Yeah. Uh, none of them. None of them got a 37. Of the four Imagine. regular zombies, <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> you eviscerate them to the point where they can't reconstruct themselves and they sort of <laughs> fall apart. Well, actually, Eviscerate? No, vivisect is what I'm thinking. You dissect them because oh, they're better. dead. They're they're actually dead. Um, <laughs> and it's so, like chemistry class, but it's like chemistry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> basically. Um, and that just was just your bonus action. The pig the there are day. still two of these uh, ogre uh, zombies in front of you, and the mm-hmm. zombie beholder behind you. Behind um, you. can okay. I? Since that was a bonus action, yeah. can I attack one of the ogres with an attack? Yeah. With an, that's, uh, that's your action. Yeah, you know what I meant. No, 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 absolutely. Get on up there. Um, there's one of the one of them did not uh, took half damage, and one of them took full damage. Uh, w- the one who took full damage is on the right, and the one who took half damage is on the left from you. The beholder is behind the two of them. And uh, I'm using a Holy Avenger longsword against. Ah, uh, so them. you're gonna do holy damage. Yup. Is, that, is that when you put holes in them? <laughs> <laughs> the Swiss cheese method. Ooh. All right. So bad is good. Got me thinking about rock Latin. now. Okay. Uh, damn. So uh both that is a 21 and a 23. 
21 and a 23. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me look at their... Yeah, their armor class is eight. So those definitely hits. Uh, guys, well, I told you, this is, this is trivial. I, like, I looked at it, I was like, oh, this is scary. And I'm like, nah, mm-hmm. they'll be okay. Uh, <laughs> so you um, get uh, armor class eight. So you definitely hit on both of those. Oh, and they two, they take 2d10 radiant damage on top of this. Cool, cool, cool. Roll damage then, because you're, you're in it. Well... <clears throat> Um, so that is 12 radiant mm-hmm. and 15, 9, 26 regular damage. Ooh, 26 regular damage. And who are you directing that to? Uh, whichever zombie ogre is closest. Uh, well, they're kind of equidistant. I was just going to say there's one who took half damage on your bonus attack and then one took full damage. Do you want to Oh, then the let's one? just take out the one that took full damage. The full damage. So uh, you, you give me that number again. Oh, shiza. You would ask for this. I'm sorry, sorry. Do. It was 26 uh, or 20. Yes. A million. It was, it's just dead. Yeah. Um, it was 17 regular and 26 radiant. 17 plus 26 is what you're talking about. Sounds me? right. Yes, yes sounds right. because okay. they got 2d6 radiant per strike. So okay. yes, they're hurting. Okay. Oh no, uh, this one's dead. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> He's already dead. Yeah. But... It's more dead. No, it's yes, real yeah, dead. This one is really dead. Really hurt. Uh, really dead. Okay. most sincerely dead. Perfect. And then uh, yes. do you have a second attack or do you? I did both at the same time. You did both at the same time. And that's how we got that number. Thank you so much. So there's one ogre zombie left and one zombie uh, beholder. And they are feared. Um, it is actually the zombie beholder's term because the frightful presence. So it will make a uh, what type of save was it? Was it constitution or wisdom? Let's make a wisdom saving throw. DC, yes. and they have to be in an 18, you were telling me? Yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I will be right back. Do what you gotta do. Yay. I will tell you if they beat it. They do that yeah. next, which... Mm-mm. Oh, no, this is... No, this is... So it's now their turn. So oh, now it, it is. On their turn. Okay, yeah. better. You guys have been... That was a bonus action. This is the first save that it's making. God, I gotta uh, go. Yeah. Uh, it is frightened for a minute. Um, and so it begins to try to run away from you all. Oh boy. It turns around and in no. its uh, movement, uh, no. hits, <laughs> throws out a uh, paralyzing ray. Um, and it's going to aim at, I think, Kent, because you yeah. did the most like burning yeah. hands damage to the group. Absolutely. Uh, and it's terrified of Solis because of the frightened presence. So trying to take care of one of its friends first. Um, okay. So. Parallel must succeed on a DC 14 constitution saving throw. Con, huh? Yep. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm positive. <laughs> Hang on just a second. I got to see if I can help myself here at all. Uh, uh, can I give him guidance or no? Um, is it a reaction? It's an action, isn't it? Uh, good question. In, say, I in one D&D, it's a reaction. <laughs> it's a reaction. I think in this edition. I don't think we can do it as a reaction. Well, oh, you know what, I, though? Oh, but I have soul trinkets, which do give me advantage on constitution saving throws. So. Nice. Yeah. And you have plus two. Um, do you use a soul trinket? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, it's just if I have one on me, I cool. get to have. Yeah. Which soul trinket do you have on you? Uh, I have several. I've got the. Oh, I gave this one away, but I still have the red wizard charm. Perfect. perfect and perfect. one other one. I can't remember what it is. I was just uh, hoping so, you were going to say the Graz earring, but I was just curious. <laughs> that, that no, was that one stays in a box in the manor. <laughs> Just wondering. Okay. Um, uh, the advantage did not help. I rolled two sixteen, so it's an eighteen. To eighteen and plus two. Uh, DC oh, plus two. So, so dirty twenty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you beat it. It was fourteen. Oh, it was fourteen. Hatches, you said so that. You're, Great. you're you're good. You get out of the way. It throws its paralyzation rate. It tries to uh, get you to stop. It starts. I pretend to be paralyzed for like right. a second and a half, and I'm like, ah, just kidding. <laughs> uh, so well, then, rude, Shaka. You are up. <laughs> just the disrespect um, is is the Xanathar in the room? Um, because now we mentioned the zombie beholder and the. You don't give me give me um. How would you feel for them? Do you want to do like an insight? Do you want to do a like? Oh, if he's not, not let me physically in the room, right? I, he's like not that we physically know. in the room. If you yeah. want to sense if their okay. presence, if I thought we heard magic, the voice at the. I thought we heard the voice at the beginning, but I'm the gonna... voice came from uh the sigil that was in. Okay, on, okay, was sort of right. put on the shirt. Okay, okay, all right. Um, then. I'll say the voice kind of um, threw Shaka off, um, and I think he's feeling a little uh, rageful. I yeah. would say. Mm-hmm. I think 
So I think he's going to, um, if the, wh whichever is the closest to me, mm -hmm. um, he's going to move toward that, take out his short sword and, uh, just attack. Oh, heck yeah. Give me a text. Yeah, there's a troll. Uh, there's a zombie over wiping. that's right in front of you. Yeah. So armor see. class is eight. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. So, oh, geez. Uh, seven. <laughs> it, uh, I'm I'm sorry to say it does not hit. Yeah, so uh, so he takes a pretty, I'll say he takes a pretty like aggressive swipe, like yeah. uh, one that yeah you know, I probably have not seen him do. Like he looks like he's not in control, which is why he ah he just like wild him. lashing yeah. out, is this rage yeah. coming out? I totally yeah. get you. Yeah, and it kind of blinds you in a moment in a way that like it with everything that's going on. This is also the one oh. Uh, the, Ogre zombie that dodged the hail of thorns. It's moving pretty fast for whatever right. reason. Um, so that's your action. Do you have? Uh, can you do your second attack? Uh, or... I, I already used the movement. I don't have a second attack. So. You don't want a bonus action or anything? Uh, I, uh, let me check this. I should not check this. Oh, um, no, no, no. Cool. I want to use any bonus. Got it. And then up next, then well, you got your uh, action, bonus action, movement. Dahani, what are you doing? Hi. Um, I, in this moment, I see Chuck looks like he needs to work out some aggression. I'm going to leave that ogre to him for now. Yeah. Um, there, is there just the zombie beholder left? I just want to make sure. You have two enemies left. The uh, ogre, ogre zombie and the zombie beholster. Beholder. The Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> it is a beholster. It's, I, it's I, a beholder. Beholder. I cannot tell you how, much, yeah. how many hours I've put into that game. I can't really. That's, that's okay. It yeah. will be holding weapons soon enough. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna go for the beholder uh with full full all of it. Yeah. Full all of it. Go for it. Um so first attack will be uh twenty-three to hit. It's uh, I'm gonna tell you uh AC fifteen. So you definitely Neat. beat it. Mm. Okay. So, so that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be 18 points of slashing damage and a constitution save DC twenty one. Okay. Yeah. You know what's up. Mm. Oh, yeah, we know. Okay, and then Constitution saving throw of 21. Okay, you know what? Constitution is plus three on this dude. So let's see how it goes. This one, better odds than not. I appreciate mm -hmm. how confident. <laughs> it was an eight. It was an eight. So eight plus three is 11. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Still confident though. You gotta keep yeah. confident. Like yeah, I had minus twos on all the the, the moment it went positive. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, so tell me it what is, it is stunned. Uh, so stunned. you see it, yeah. You see it, uh, you know, kind of fleeing in midair, and then all of a sudden it's like suspended animation. So yeah. uh, I'll just knock this all out real quick for you. No, 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 perfect. Uh, and then do you have? How many more attacks are you going to uh, pop off? Okay. I have three more attacks. 18, that one also hits? Yes. Uh, do, do, do. So close. Woo -hoo -hoo, 30 hits. Okay. 22 hits. Also, all uh, three hit. Okay. And then we'll just get this out of the way real quick. Oh my god. Okay, 25 plus 15 plus 6. 25, 25. plus 21 is 30. No, 25 plus 21 is 46. Okay, 46 damage? Yes. Cool. Cool, cool. You are uh are you chopping off stocks? What are you doing as as you're doing this? As you come Yeah, I, I really I'm I am you know, I heard about this one miniature giant space hamster one time that sure. did something like going for the eyes. Sure. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> we were wearing those shirts last week, weren't we? Or last episode, right? Yeah, yeah but two yeah, weeks ago. week we that, were, yeah. Because that's yeah. taking a whole new meaning when fighting a beholder, though. Like, yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Go for that eyes. eye, boo. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. it's now, oh, in... Incredible. Oh, sorry, I I really this one ogre zombie is just just hitting the rolls. He got a How natural twenty to defend yeah. against Come the frightful pressure. Yeah, twenty. So oh, is the man. only one that is not afraid. He has. He's, he's, you've already killed the other one. His stats aren't great, but I'm I'm believing in this zombie ogre. I'm really <laughs> proud of this guy. He turns and looks at uh, Shaka 
and for whatever reason is not intimidated and in doing so makes a swipe at you um and so it is a plus six to hit so let's see how we do a swipe at me or at a swipe at you it's a two plus eight uh two plus six sorry uh, so you got an eight does no. that work does that, is that, no. is that, is that your armor class does not does not he, he swipes he misses uh it grows <laughs> having a really tough day um and that is the end of the first round of combat we will come back to this next Did we week. get virgil oh virgil no no no. i'm yeah, sorry you're up next virgil. uh all right real quick who's left it's the <laughs> zombie beholder and this ogre zombie oh they're not dead no, not dead. Well, oh, they are, right. but they are. Yeah. Oh, God. You, you know, you got me on that one. Um, <laughs> yeah. At this point, Virgil's just kind of annoyed. Real quick, pulls out his fan and casts Chain yes. Lightning at them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> give, me, give, me the, give, me the, give me the damage. It's a classic um, for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What is that? Oh, goodness. I'm going to tell you their HP right now 29 and 40. <laughs> so if oh, you get so many dice. <laughs> yeah it's i mean they they have a chance to save but it's 50 points of lightning damage so just, okay just okay okay whoa yeah. so okay. what's the, what's the save what what is it require? um they're saying they 30, can do right? dex dex 16. dex 16. we're gonna roll two of them they're minus two on these which is my favorite uh, you know what it's nine and eleven never forget that they can't escape this chain lightning <laughs> uh and wow. so they got hit by both of that uh and so they should make a dc 55 constitution DC 55 save. Right, that's, <laughs> all, that's all they need absolutely uh let me We're... give that one a shot and in this moment as, as virgil steps up and says enough with his fan they just ooh, disintegrate yeah and you are left once again with i'm gonna give you a little gift charred remains and the smell of the sea in the air mm. Xanatar, Xanathar. Mm, and with that, <laughs> this is the end of our episode. <laughs> we're going to go around and do our uh, outros. And uh, if you, we ran a little bit long, so questions, you can point them uh, to us and we'll try to answer them in the uh, chat afterwards. Mm. Uh, and so you'll get access to that. Uh, but let's get things started. We'll go in reverse order. And now clockwise, kicking it off with Sharif. Hey everybody, uh, you can find me at shreefjackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-F jackson.com, Shreef Jackson on all social networks. Um, and don't have any uh, anything else TTRPG related uh, going on. Um, I will be, um, I got some people like requ requesting that I post my syllabus and some examples of some of my uh, classes of the video game class I've been teaching for the last couple of years. So um, I'm going to be doing that on my website pretty soon. So I'll be linking that out. Um, and also filmed a couple of videos um, um, from a couple of games, Dead Space and a couple of other ones um, that are showing uh, science concepts, uh, math science concepts as well. No. So I'm um, trying to roll those out a little slowly, um, trying to build up a queue and then roll them out really slowly. So uh, make sure to keep your eyes out for that as well. Um, other than that, I'm good. Terrific. Moving up, we got you, Anio. Hi everybody, I'm Elkan New. I'm DM Jazzy Hands on the internet. Uh, follow me here on Twitch and on Twitter at DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, what's coming up? I'm, it's going to be new game day in my channel on Tuesday. I do not know what the new game is, but we're starting a new game. It's going to be great. Uh, so come hang out Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific on my channel. And then Wednesdays, also on my channel, we are, uh, this Wednesday is episode 7 of 10 for the finale season of my podcast, The Last Refuge. Uh, it's episode episode 255 i think wow uh yeah so uh come hang out we go live at 7 p.m eastern uh in the channel and the episode starts at 7 30 things are really intense the crew is fighting the the bbeg and it's not going great they've had three days <laughs> of constant fighting and they keep oh having god. to retreat and it's rough <laughs> and three i love days. it so come oh my yeah. god so uh coming out and see that and then back here next sunday for more rivals that's that's it for me right now i think right yes next cool moving right along we've got virgil's uh we've got virgil's brian thank you yes, <laughs> yes. i am indeed virgil's me uh yeah. hi i'm brian aka urban bohemian pretty much everywhere on the internet you can catch me um on my own channel tuesdays and saturdays and sundays 
uh this week i'm probably going to be catching up and getting ready for uh destiny which the new content drop happens like yeah. at the end of the month so it's going to be all guardian stuff all the time like fall. um yeah. i believe that the cyberpunk red podcast i'm on cyberpunk independence i believe we're going to have our season three premiere very soon keep an eye on my twitter for that and then yeah you can catch me back here on sunday with these awesome folks doing stuff hell yeah and then we've got tanya Hi, uh, I'm Cypher TRV Online. I might try to get in a stream today, and then if you're going to be at Dice in Vegas, I'll be there. Uh, no idea what I'm going to do, but it's my first time in Vegas. Hopefully I come back from Vegas. Um, and then Thursday, I'm doing a sponsor stream with Hero Forge over on their channel. We're painting a mini. Uh, Nox is going to paint an elven monk. I had to think about it. Uh, and we're going to talk about techniques for painting skin and different skin tones. So that is 5 o'clock over on Hero Forge's Twitch. And then um, the 25th, B-Dave and I are doing a panel about Into the Motherlands at VirtuousCon. And it is all mm -hmm. virtual and we'll tweet when we are awesome. doing the thing. Sure. So. And then we've got Latia. Oh, right. I have to say stuff. Um, I'm Latia. You can find me all across the internet at Latia Jaquise because it's my name. Uh, and there's only one of me that we know of. Apple kink. <laughs> uh, I got nothing. You'll see me on the internet and then back here next Sunday. Cool. And then that leaves me. Hey, I'm a suit. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marudboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Right now, Rivals is the only thing that I'm doing on the internet. So be sure to check us out next Sunday. Um, and we'll be back with more as we're wrapping up this final season. Um, we want to give a huge shout out and thank you to everyone who made this possible we want folks to stick around and check out the uh patreon page that we have uh so, sorry the uh, uh support indiegogo. page go yeah the indiegogo fans and everyone else who made us possible so if you're there please look at that um did we figure out who we're rating on the way out uh painting pirate we're gonna be rating painting pirate so stick around in the chat um thank you to everyone who made uh this season possible we really i'm having a blast and i'm taking these it seems like i'm taking them on a fun adventure and we'll see what ends up happening yeah. at the end of it having a blast. <laughs> good, yeah, good. Couldn't be possible without you all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm excited to tell the rest of the rival story. So with that, uh, we will see you next Sunday. And until then, enjoy Painting Pirate. Bye. Bye.